I walk on. I am unable to think. All I can do is follow the others. Ever since we came to the twisted remains of my daughter's school bus, my soul has left me. I am empty. Some of our tanks are parked at the approach to the bridge. There's a train still running on the other side of the river. She goes all the way out to the edge of the border. We've got to blast this bridge before the enemy gets a hold of it. So move it or lose it, people! Here I see the wreckage of a jet that was shot down. On what's left of the nose, I can make out some writing. Melissa. It's my name. What a cruel twist of fate for me to see this. My pilot husband, who had left for work that day with the same loving look on his face as always. He had painted my name on his angel. I go into the crowd on the train and endure two weeks of pure hell before finally ending up at a refugee camp at the border. I don't know any of the names on the list. My compatriots, who have now become refugees, gather around a single radio to listen to the broadcast. Even though the station is broadcasting out of Gracemeria, occupying forces have taken complete control of the airwaves. The enemy must have completely overtaken our capital, Gracemeria. Okay. However, Thank God. the announcer went on to say that our castle was robbed of countless antiquities that once were elaborately displayed in our castle. Stripped bare. As the Estabakian military, it is our sworn duty to govern this crumbling nation and get it back on its feet, starting right here in Great Maria. I found a group of street children in front of the central station here, where the area has literally been reduced to a slum. Step on up here, little girl. What do you have to say about all this? Go dance with the angels, mister. My ears were not deceiving me. That voice belonged to my daughter, Matilda. I am Lieutenant Colonel Wojciech of the Estovakian Air Force. I arrived on a train to Grace Maria. To my detriment, I sustained a leg injury in the early stages of the war, relegating me to ground duty. I am now working as an intelligence officer for the Air Force. The ceiling has collapsed in a central station. From there, the city appears resigned to its fate beneath the Estovakian flag. What a pitiful sight. But at least there are no craters to mar the land. They are lucky in that sense. Yeah. 
dance with the angels. There goes my spare clothing. They will not be so lucky with these documents. What a miserable city this must be, with their children in such a state. The fine works of art once displayed in this castle were completely gone before the occupation forces arrived. Even the ancient armor of the Golden King, the collective heart and soul of the city's people, along with the crown, have disappeared without a trace. I must relay this unfortunate information back to the generals in my country. They were quite fond of those antiquities. A large-scale formation of Estevakian bombers is heading toward Vitose, a city here on the island of Kesid. The enemy is plotting to storm Campania Airport, where our military is stationed, to stamp us out and put an end to this thing. Enemy bombers are approaching Vitose from the north. Our advance team estimates they'll be above the city in about 15 minutes. Air units are to cooperate with our radar facilities and resume operations. An enemy takeover of Vitose would mean the ultimate destruction of our country Emeria and of our Emerian people. Intercept them at once. Garuda One, how about my weapon? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda Team, time to take off. Second enemy bomber is dead. 
down. More enemy bombers incoming. There's quite a few this time. The enemy bombers have been intercepted. Enemy aircraft around the Kessid perimeter have been significantly weakened. Our forces have taken advantage of this opportunity to arrange a swift counterattack. We expect the best from you.
My daughter is alive somewhere in Grace Maria. It took me days to get here. Days of walking. But I know this road ends somewhere up ahead. There was no need to think about how to cross the river. Didn't that soldier on the tank say they were going to destroy this bridge before the enemy came? I start to feel as if... things never go as they are said to.